ในปีที่ผ่านมารายการมองเรามองโลกได้พูดคุยกับบุคคลที่เก่งระดับอินเตอร์หลายคนหนึ่งในนั้นคือแอนดี้ลูวิสเจ้าของฉายามิสเตอร์สแลกไลน์นักเดินไต่เชือกสุดหวาดเสียวระดับโลก What is so fun about slacklining that you get so serious about it? Slacklining is really fun because it allows my creativity to become kind of the art of what I do in slacklining. Because it's not just about walking the line; it's about seeing two points and connecting the lines, connecting the dots. And it's awesome to have fill the space that once wasn't there, and you create something that's beautiful. And it's not only sport, but it's art. How do you practice? You practice slacklining by just doing it. It's it's about being a doer. You're out there doing the activity, and you step on the line, and you may fall off. It takes a little while to learn, just like a language or a musical instrument, anything like that. It takes practice. It takes determination, and slacklining is the exact same thing. For a spectator like me, it looks dangerous, but is it worth it? I mean, accidents can happen. I mean, accidents totally can happen. Yeah. I mean, you drive a car. You might eat fast food. You could choke. But I don't put myself at risk so high above the ground. Well, that's the thing is that it's not at risk. There are many risks, but I'm not a risk taker. I'm a risk manager. I manage the risks. Hmm. So I take the risks at hand. I list them out, and then I take those risks each and I check them off. The line could break. Okay. okay. I get the best, strongest webbing possible. What if it breaks? I have another one. Now I've got two lines. Then I have rings on those lines. The rings are round mm. and solid. There's no way they're coming off. So by the time I'm actually on the line, I've thought about all those risks that you are saying might kill me, and I've managed them to a point where those risks are no longer risks. They've been managed. เอรันแคทส์ชาวอิสราเอลคนนี้เป็นเจ้าของสถิติกินเนสบุ๊กออฟเวิลด์เรคคอร์ดด้านความจำเขาสามารถจำตัวเลข500หลักได้ในรวดเดียวปัจจุบันเขาเป็นนักเขียนและนักพูดที่เดินทางไปอบรมด้านเทคนิคการจำและการสร้างความฉลาดให้กับผู้คนทั่วโลก Are our memory as well as intelligence shaped mainly by our genes or by training? Almost only by uh, training. Because genes is good for a limited amount of uh, abilities, skills. Okay, because definitely some people, you know, are born with higher intelligence, but that doesn't mean that they will remember better. Intelligence is not only memory; it has to do with a lot of things, problem solving and thinking and creativity. Not necessarily memory. And memory, it is a proven fact that you can actually, with really specific techniques. Easily remember whatever you want: names, faces, languages, uh, information. It does require work. Maybe easily is not the right word, but but faster and efficient. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Anyone, even especially those that complain about their memory, they are most surprised to discover their new ability. Many of us have problems with faces and names. We cannot match them, and sometimes we confuse them, and we cannot recall them. What is the technique? Names are more complicated, I have to say, because they're even, um, especially Thai names, because they're so long. That's why you shorten the name, right? <laughs> to, um, but but you you should also try to associate the name or or, or find some meaning. Several methods, uh, like for example, um, my last name Katz. It sounds like a cat, right? That's easy, so you can try to imagine me petting a cat. และสุดท้ายกับสุบินเมธาวัทยากรชื่อดังระดับตำนานที่ได้รับการยกย่องจากผู้รักในเสียงดนตรีคลาสสิกทั่วโลกค่ะ So when you're up there conducting, what do you usually think about when you perform? Well, it's it's the music, it's the construction. It's where we are going in the music. Uh, musicians are busy playing the notes. We have to guide them, give the rhythmic impulse to start the piece in the correct tempo. But we, are the conductors, are the ones who guide the musicians spiritually through the composer's intentions. Mm. I see some conductor move a lot when they conduct.
and then some, not so much. Is that just well, different style? Well, it depends on the music too. In one symphony we do both. <laughs> we are communicating with the orchestra. We're not concentrating on our movements. We are communicating. We are beating, we are giving entrances, we are balancing, we are inspiring. So everything is going on simultaneously. And there's a great amount of concentration involved. How do you keep your passion alive throughout all these well, years? Well, it's the love for this music. I love every moment of it. หลากหลายเรื่องราวนะคะที่ผ่านไปแล้วในช่วงหนึ่งปีที่ผ่านมาหวังว่าท่านผู้ชมจะได้รับทั้งความรู้แล้วก็ได้เปิดโลกกระทัดไปด้วยกันนะคะปีหน้ามองเรามองโลกจะยังคงนำเสนอเรื่องราวที่น่าสนใจจากทั่วทุกมุมโลกเช่นเคยค่ะพบกันใหม่สัปดาห์หน้าวันนี้สวัสดีค่ะ